All right, welcome back. So in this part, we are going to have a look at the built-in effects, which is obviously something the original uh, Model D didn't have, um, and this one has. So we've got, um, obviously, a bit of navigation stuff. Obviously, we've got all the presets along here, and then we've got our other choices um, along the top. I'll go into those a little bit more in the next video. But we've got one that says effects. So that's going to bring these, these effects up, and what you do is just kind of tap on them to open them up. And we've got four effects. We've got an arpeggiator, we've got one called bender, we've got a delay, and we've got uh, one called looper. So I've got a fairly standard kind of sound there. Let's just make sure that, that will do. Okay, so arpeggiator, standard kind of thing. You turn it on down here. So let's hold down a couple of keys. So we've got rate. Which will go from quarters eighths to sixteenths and thirty seconds. And we've got pattern, we've got up, up, down, down, and random. And then we've got an octave button which will decide how many octaves it goes up and down. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in a little bit of uh, a longer release time. Because then the gate will have an effect on that. Okay, so got a longer decay release time on that now. But obviously that will kind of short on the sound to give more of a staccato kind of feel. We've got ARP latch, so if we turn that on and then just press the keys down, that will play, uh, no hands playing, look my hands are here, so that will then play by itself. Another quite useful feature actually, which um, is kind of part of the ARP setting, you'd think that would be actually on the main keyboard, but we've got key hold, so if I just press down a key and press key hold, that will play constantly in the background for us. Okay. Kind of useful, I guess, if you want to tune and things like that. Okay, so that's the ARP. The bender um, is a little bit of a weird one. It's kind of like slap back delay FM modulation kind of stuff. Um, so we've got a rate and a depth. Let's just turn the mix up. Time and feedback at the bottom. No, it's a bit hit and miss with this one. When you get anything out of it, tell you why we're not getting any sound out of it because I ain't turned the bleeding thing on. Right, you got to turn it on first. You mop it. Right, turn the mix up. Okay, so obviously the depth kind of gets sort of chorusy, flangery. LFOE kind of effects from the top two, the rate and the depth, and on the bottom we've got time and feedback. And obviously you can dial whatever you want in. So you, yeah, you get some, some crazy effects with that. So that's the bender. Uh, weird name, but there we go. Uh, we've got a delay standard. Can't delay. Let's just get a kind of short sort of sound. Remember to turn it on this time. Um, let's turn the mix up. And then we've got usual things, just time and feedback. And you can decide to have that kind of free run in so the time will um, you know, kind of do its thing. Or you can synchronise it to the uh, the tempo. And then we've got this thing called Looper, which is kind of like a step sequencer sort of thing. So if I just record some notes in. And then press play. And then we can overdub. Okay, 
So I'm just kind of overdubbing stuff over the top. Turn that off. And obviously you can play that back. And it will kind of save that in the background. And then what happens is, it's kind of then independent from the, um, the sounds that we have on here. So I can have that playing in the background. And then we can change the sounds on here. And it won't affect that in the background, which is quite cool. So you've got totally independent control of the sound that you play over the keyboard while that is playing in the background. Um, nice little little effect that, so you can kind of get um, you know little sequence running in the background and then solo stuff over the top. Uh, so that's the effects. Um, hopefully that gave you a little insight into what you can do with those. And um, yeah, usual things. Please like, subscribe, share the videos around, check my music out, and I will see you in the uh, final part. Thanks for watching.